What's up sports fans, Yankees, Jets fans, 71, back with another video. Um, so I got this card, um, a friend of mine who collects Philadelphia Philly stuff sent me, um, a little bit of a care package, uh, sent me a pin that I needed from the 1996, 98 World Series. Um, he sent that to me, he also sent me a couple of goodies, he sent me this along with the rest of the goodies, um. This is one of those, top, it's a tops card. It's a talking baseball or baseball talk card. I, this is unpunched, which is really cool. You got Woody Ford's stats back here. But what you did, if I remember correctly, is there was a, I don't know if you put this on a record player and it played and it was maybe an interview with Whitey Ford or if there was a special contraption that you would stick the card in. Sort of like the, um... I forgot, uh, there was another one of these talking baseball cards where it actually had the, um, the the machine that you would put in and stick it in. It would talk baseball. I think that might have been a starting lineup product, if I remember correctly. Um, but it got me thinking, I just love oddball cards. It's one of my favorite things to collect, other than autographs and inserts. I love love oddball stuff and this is where i'm going to be sticking the card is in my oddball binder so i thought it maybe i'd give you guys a quick look at my oddball binder i don't have a lot of oddball stuff i mean i might have some more stuff lying around that i don't know of in my various boxes um that'll be a search for a different time but since i was doing this i thought i'd show you what i have oddball wise this is the food uh part this is the old, the Kellogg's cards. You got the Bobby Mercer, R Bucky Dent, Sparky Lyle, uh, Mickey Rivers, another Bucky Dent, Thurman Munson, Ed Figueroa, the first Puerto Rican to win 20 games, holla. Um, Chris Chambliss, Ron Guidry, and then you got another Yogi Berra right there. I think that's an 80s card. And over here you got the Drake's cards. When I was a kid, I used to beg my mom, beg her, to buy Drake's Cakes so I could stick my hand in the box and just pull out that baseball card. And there's a Ricky Henderson Drake's Cake one. And these are some ho a couple of Hostess cards. Uh, these are the only two I have. I have a Chambliss and I have a Thurman. Um, and then these are some Burger King cards. Got Dave Winfield, Ricky Henderson, and this is a craft card over here, which would be on the on the side or the back of a craft box. You would just cut it out, and they've got Dave Winfield right there. Uh, these are pull and spring cards. I th think these were actually stadium giveaways, but they were produced by Sp Pull and Spring. I do have another one. It's a Don Manning one, and it's in its binder. Then you got the Yuhu cards. You got Bobby Bonds. Probably, I think this might be my only Bobby Bonds card in my collection. Actually, no, I think I have his Tops card in the Tops binder. But, yeah, I don't have very many Bo uh, Barry Bonds, or Bobby Bonds, rather, I'm sorry. Bobby Bonds cards in my Yankee collection. You got Don Manley and Roger Maris. And in the bottom here are three of my favorite cards in this binder, and that's the old post-serial cards. Um, you have a Moose Gowan right there. You have Mickey Mantle. That's a legit Mickey Mantle. I don't have very many few legits Mickey Mantles. So I was at a card show not too long ago and I saw this and I had to have it. And got a really good deal on it too. And I got Roger Maris right there. Uh, the Maris, well loved. It was a gift. But um, the Mantle was one I bought and I think the Scour one was also a gift. I'm trying to figure out though. The, the Scour may actually be a Jello card. I have to look into that. And then over here you have the uh, Perino Ralston cards. Got a Guidry, got a Dave Winfield, two Dave Winfields. Actually, no, that's a Perino. The Dave Winfield's a Quaker Chewy Granola Bar card. I think if you saw my uh, Reggie Jackson um, video from last week, you'll see that I just got in a Reggie card of the same one brand. And over here you got a um, Meadows Gold Super Series card. I 
think this might have been a supermarket out in the Midwest. I could be wrong. I have to check on what those are. Uh, then you got Jimmy Dean Sausage. Kevin Moss card. This is also another food premium. This is a Topps card from Post Cereal. Bernie Williams. This one is a Sunkist card. Roger Maris. This is another Post Cereal card. Um, Babe Ruth. And this was also a food premium card. I believe this might, might have been another post cereal, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a quick look in the back. I for, I know I looked this up and it was a food premium card. I don't know if it was a cereal card or what. Um, but yeah, I know it's a food premium card. I believe it's a cereal card. Then you got the ballpark um, Frankfurter cards. So you got the Yogi Berra one. Then there's another cereal card from Captain Crunch, Don Mattingly. And another post cereal Don Mattingly card. And this one's a McDonald's card of Danny Tartable. And over here are some more food premium cards. These, This one is a disc that you would get at the um, burger stores. Or ice cream stores of Catfish Hunter. There's a Crane's Potato Chips of Catfish. And another one. This is another um, food premium card that you would get. This one's from ta from Tasty Freeze. This is an ice cream card. And this one's also. This one's a, fa a Sweet Williams Family Restaurant card. So this one's from the restaurant that you would get when you get the burgers. And the Thurman is one you would get when you would get some ice cream. Now you got some cards here from that are not food premiums. I call them oddballs, even though they're probably technically not. They're just cards that weren't made by Tops. You got the uh, swell cards here. You got the um, 3D cards here. You got the uh, championship baseball card of Ron Guidry. And again, if you saw my video from last week, you'll see that I got the Reggie Jackson card of this. Also, you have some Tops magazine, Danny Tartable. This this is not an oddball card. I don't know why it's in here. And I don't think this one is. E this one's a 3D card also. Yeah, Bazooka. These cards are probably should be out. I don't know. Really action-packed. I wouldn't say they're oddball. This is oddball. This is this was a, a set of cards that were done in the 80s. Um, that just came in a box. And there were different players that were... Um, caricaturized and there's um, Joe DiMaggio and you got the um, starting lineup cards here Ricky Henderson, Bernie Williams two Bernie Williams, you got the Babe Ruth I got some starting lineups I haven't even opened yet and that's got some cards in there then you got the Kmart cards that you would get when you go into Kmart, you would buy a box of cards, and these were some of the cards that were in there. You got a Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, and Ricky Henderson. And you got some of these unlicensed cards, which I stuck in here anyway. You got another swell there. Again, some of these cards aren't really technically oddball cards. I just stuck them in, I guess, because I needed a place for them. Some more of the swell cards. This is the top, the op, the uh, baseball card. Um, national, it's the baseball card day card of uh, A Rod, which I probably will wind up putting in the top binder anyway. And you got some of the KB cards here, the rookie cards, Dan Pasqua and Brian Fisher. And you got some more on of these unlicensed. I believe these are the TCM cards. Yep. And these are uh, Sports Illustrated Kids cards of Chen Ming Wong and Mike Messina. This is Sunoco cards that you would get when you got gas. I think there's a whole set of these. This one, I'm not too sure what this one is. It's obviously for the for the video game. I don't know where it came from, which is why I stuck it in there. It's, I just think it looks pretty cool. It's a paper card. Um, as well as the, the A-Rods of paper also. And you got the um, 
ALS card for Lou Gehrig. And you got like one of these gold plated cards over here of Lou Gehrig. And this is a um, King 3, what, Wade Boggs card. And you have this Bernie Williams post cereal card. Actually, I got to put this with the food card. I knew it was, I thought I, I knew it was missing a Bernie card. This one I'm trying to figure more out about. Oh, this is a, okay, this is a, another food card. So I have to put this with the food cards also. All right, so we got these unlicensed cards. These are from Renata Glasso. I have a whole set of Reggie's ones. I can't wait to show you guys when I get the Reggie binder done. But I love these cards because you don't get a lot of these cards of the old timers unless you're paying the, the price for these for the original cards. So since I can't pay a price for those cards, I am more than happy to have these cards in my Yankees collection and stuck them in the binder. And then you have these cards. These are the oh, these are the um, the laugh the what they called uh, lead baseball legends. And they're made by Pacific. I don't know if it's the same Pacific company that made the baseball cards from the 90s. I tend to doubt it. But they, you know, these were some nice cards. And if you were doing TTM back in the 80s, these cards came in handy. And you do find a lot of these cards autographed when you look for them on eBay. The only way I would buy these cards autographed if it was encased and... Um, Certified by PSA or G or JSA, I would lean more towards PSA rather than JSA. To be honest with you, that's just my personal preference. Look at that! How many cards are you gonna see of the barber Sal Magley in a Yankee uniform? Not many. That's awesome. And you got more of these. I think these are the Sporting News cards. Got some really nice players here that like Earl Coombs, Hall of Famer. I would never be able to afford an Earl Coombs card. Never be able to afford a Joe McCarthy card, but I have these. Joe Pipgris of the uh, 1927 Yankees. Miller Huggins, Hall of Famer. Yeah, another set here with George, George Selkirk. Tommy Hendrick. Over reliable before Paul O'Neill became over reliable. He was over reliable, and you got a Babe Ruth card over here. And these are the more familiar ones that people all know. I remember when I was a kid, and I just started collecting baseball cards. I, my teacher gave me a set of these, and I loved having these cards. And when I started collecting again, I made sure to try to hunt some of them down, just so I could have them in my binder. Uh, these are, I believe, the Red Heart. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, the Red Hearts. These are um, reprints of the Red Hearts and not the originals. And here's some more of those Kmart cards. We have Munson and Howard. And you got some... Um, I forget who makes these cards. This is also TCM. Should probably call this binder the oddball slash unlike unlicensed cards. I mean, technically, are they really unlicensed though? I mean, they're still showing the Yankee uniform. The Yankee uniform's not getting whitewashed out of here. And these are the cards. This is a set that was commemorating the '61 Yankees. So all these cards are from. It's like a team set of the '61 Yankees. Which someone gave to me all sent, sent me in the mail and I was like really thrilled to have them I don't care as long as that Yankee logos on there I will collect just about anything of the Yankees I mean case in point there was a candy dispenser a small candy dispenser that I found at a flea market um, with the Yankee logo on it and I was waiting patiently for the guy to acknowledge me to ask me if he could help me Blah blah blah. Try to negotiate a price. I wasn't going to pay very much for it, but well, he never did, so I never walked away with it. And there's the last card of the coach Wally Moses, and that is my binder of oddballs and quote unquote unlicensed cards. Um, I have to find a, a 
page for this guy. I know I have pocket pages that can fit this and it'll go straight in this binder. So anyway guys, thanks for watching the video with me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my binder of oddballs and um, unlicensed baseball cards. Uh, if you did, please uh, click that like button, leave all comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so for more content such as the one you've seen today. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the video, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Remember, guys, card family for life, essay. Peace.